Rob here. Today we're going to lay some red brick. Let me show you the project. Okay, here's my driveway. And beside it, I laid down some uh, gray brick because I didn't want anything permanent because I've got a French drain running under here and a downspout discharge. But beyond the gate here, beside my house, I have an area all prepared. I got some uh, crushed rock down and it's within an inch, half inch of the final uh, subgrade elevation to lay the brick. And I probably got a s spot here about five feet by, I don't know, 28 or 30 feet to lay brick. Here's my red brick. Saved it over the years. I've used it for many things. Well, now I'm gonna lay red brick here. What I'm gonna do is finish off the last half inch to inch with this play sand from Home Depot it for leveling and just lay the brick I think it's a herringbone pattern like the gray one row is across and the other is the opposite across opposite so here we go I've got a few rows of brick laid as you can see here and what I'm doing is I'm spreading sand on top of the crushed rock and then I'm sloping it so it goes up that way it'll go down towards the driveway and then from the house sloping it out towards the fence but it really doesn't matter because there's a french drain all the way so any water is going to go down through the french drain that's basically it i'm using my uh, float or trowel whatever this is called to spread the sand And then as I lay the brick using this board to make sure that this slope is uniform. And then my level, to make sure it's sloped away. I don't know if you can see that, but it's sloped about a half inch away from the house. So perfect slope. More brick to lay. This is the wet saw I used to cut the brick. Got it at Harbor Freight. Don't remember how much it was 139 159 but i had to take the uh, the shield off because so a brick or too thick and i had to make two passes to cut it but other than making quite a mess it cut just fine and did the job really nice okay i'm continuing <laughs> to lay brick and the neighbor's dog continuing to bark but with my six foot level i checked <laughs> and if i follow if the brick followed the drip edge for the stucco just like half inch under it I'll have a nice slope towards my uh, driveway and then what I do after I get the brick laid I lay the straight edge and if there's any gap I just take my trowel I guess and I push the sand under until it comes up in contact with the board and everything's plump well it's midday on the second day I have about half the brick laid with the help of my partner. We're gonna take a break. Go have some sushi for lunch. And come back and hit it again. Well, it's the end of day two and I'm probably just over three quarters done. It's supposed to rain tomorrow midday, so I'll try to get out here early and if I don't get done, I should be close, and after the rain, I'll finish it off. It's the third day, and I'm finished. The second day, I was only able to work about an hour and a half in the morning, then it rained pretty hard the rest of the day, so I finished it off. Today took me about an hour and a half to finish the back end. So it's all done, and it's, it's sloped up towards the back and down towards the driveway when your water will run down and it's sloped about a half inch from the garage to the uh, fence so any water will run out if it doesn't go through the cracks in the brick and go into the French drain. So another completed project. Good luck if you choose to lay brick. Just do it careful, take your time and it'll turn out good. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.